recording. Okay, it is 5.23 on Sunday morning. What's the date today? February 1st, 2009. We have awoken at 4.54 a.m. to Jamie savagely punching himself in the head and having back-to-back -back weird seizures that we've never really seen before. Gave him 10 milligrams of diazepat. Diazepat stopped the seizures, but did, did not stop this. Come on. Trying to protect his ear, which was damaged before in the group home. I have no idea. We have no idea why he's hitting himself right now. He didn't hit himself for three, was it three days or four days? About four days, four almost days. five days. Almost five days, absolutely no self-injurious behavior whatsoever. We thought, oh, this is great, you know, we weaned him off Depakote, maybe it was a Depakote. Now he's on Lamictal, and with Ativan PRN, uh, for seizures and occasionally use it for, for savage self-abuse but tonight we you can't wait for Ativan to kick in tonight he got diazostat rectal gel his eyes are wild he has a weird look on his face about two days ago he was laughing hysterically he's happy there's been no major changes we cannot for the life of us figure out why the heck he's hitting himself right now we're trying to figure it out. It's, it appears some <clears throat> that uh, he, I mean, he's still losing weight. He's still emaciated. He's lost 25 pounds over the past four months with no explanation. We've had CT scan of his abdomen, which only showed fecal impact, which has since been rectified with a bowel movement. Uh, well, there's probably still fecal impact, but... Um, Try to get the doctors numerous times to do tests. Did an endoscopy that lasted 30 seconds because on seven milligrams of Versed, he came out of it when they had the scope down his throat and lunged off the table. So she had to, the best of her ability, pull it out of his throat. Uh, didn't see anything significant on the endoscopy, but you know, what can you see in 30 seconds? So um, we have no idea. We're still trying to figure out why he does this crap. What, this way, this way, no. No, now he's grabbing the camera, right. Obviously that's not working, so we have no other choice. I mean, we can't hold him for five hours. And we've already given him 10 milligrams of diazepam, so, like, you know, I don't even know what else to do at this point. You, you can't give him any more guns or diazepines. And I guess you could, but is that the answer? No, the answer is find out why his self-abuse was just triggered. What, why is he doing this? Or what is going on inside of him? And the only way we can get that answered is by medical investigation, and we can't seem to get any doctors to figure out what the hell is wrong with our son. We have been going to doctors for 17 years trying to figure out, and every time we go, all they do, here, here's another psychotropic drug for your child. Well, he's on Risperdal right now. He's still hitting himself. He's been on like 14, 15 different psychotropic, not psychotropic, but Prozac, uh, you know, God repentant, all these things for his behaviors, naltrexone, clonidine, nothing has ever stopped his self abuse. So obviously, he's behaviorally fragile and there's something in him, whether it's the slightest pain or whatever, will trigger. We think there's gastrointestinal things going on, but the doctors keep saying, no, 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 that can't be. 
Well, obviously it is, because you don't just wake up in the middle of the night punching yourself for no reason. No, he's got to have something going on, either in his brain, so we need a PET scan, to, I don't know, to see the glucose, whether it fluctuates. I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but I can't get doctors to help me, so I have to spend 19 hours a week researching stuff myself, because I can't get a doctor to put in the effort, time, and the compassion to help us. I mean, they seem like they try, but they spend, you know, 30 seconds for the drive-by analysis, and then they split, they go back to their next, you know, patient and leave us alone to just deal with it over and over and over again. We can't get any comprehensive, pervasive help. So we just have to keep enduring, keep going through it. So now he's calm, um, he's got the restraints on him, but with the restraints, he starts to pull, he pulls the back of his thing, and then you got to keep checking his hands, and then, you know, you got to at some point release the restraints, and then when you release him, he starts clocking himself again, then you got to put him back on. So that's not really pretty or practical. We have to find out why. why. Why right now is he hitting himself? The continence of his face is different.